Dear Anna, just a, a small thought for you all. Um, my son, who's doing mechanical engineering, spent a morning looking at Scottish national statistics. And he discovered, as an aside, I think he was getting fed up by his father's complete uh, cynicism at uh, the extent of uh, Hong Kong flu. Anyway, he looked up Scottish national statistics and lo and behold, he discovered that in 1999-2000, 5,200 odd people died of flu in Scotland. And to date, those who have died from COVID-19 number 4,180, 25% less than in 99-2000. There was no shutdown, there was no drama, there was no hullabaloo. I ask, what the hell is going on? We have a mortality rate in a healthy population of somewhere around 0.25%. 25% in measurement terms is just about impossible to record if you take in your recording errors. The world has gone mad. Or rather, the political classes have gone mad, but I think they were mad already. What has become clear is that the political classes are stupid beyond belief and infinitely ignorant. They are followers, not leaders. They do not understand numbers. All they want to do is be popular. And they try and outbid the other. If one says black, the other says white. I am reminded of Aristotle's description of democracy, where we're all afloat on a sailing vessel and the sailing vessel runs into a storm. On the boat, there are several people who are master manor, manor, marin, mariners. But in a democracy, we have an election and we vote in somebody to steer the boat who hasn't a bloody clue about the sea, navigation or sailing. And as C.S. Lewis rightly said, when the world is charging towards a cliff edge and you're the only one running in the opposite direction, you are considered to be a madman. Nobody listens or takes an alternative view or even asks for a second opinion. I hope that makes sense. I'm sitting here in my tractor at 62 years of age wondering WTF. Madness. Is someone spiking our water? Or somebody spiking a politician's water? More to the point. Can someone stop this? Please. Keep up the good work. Speak to you later.